recently went thrifting with my sister Amanda and my friend Amanda and I noticed when we were shopping out in Luckett's Virginia that there were pieces that I was continually drawn to as a crafter. Just things that always caught my eye because of what my passion is which is crafting. So I thought I would take you guys along and share with you some tips for thrifting as a crafter. Let's go! Something I am always looking for as a crafter would be paper. Of course, paper crafting is my first passion. So that is what I am drawn to. You are going to find so many cool vintage elements, vintage ephemera. Sometimes they're gathered together like these right here, um, pre-sorted for you. And then sometimes you're going to have to dig a little and find pieces that are interesting that you can use in your crafts. There's some different options. Of course, you can collage these pieces, use them in your scrapbooking, use them for flat lays, for photos. There's all kinds of ways to use these pieces. Something else I really like are some comic books, some of the records. These um, backgrounds, these cardboard pieces can also be repurposed. Be careful to make sure that you're not using something that's really valuable. You might want to research it in advance. But if it's not valuable and you like the colors and the content, then it might be fun to repurpose it in your crafting. Children's paper pieces are also something that I'm always really drawn to. I like when kids have written their names inside of books or you have old coloring books or old children's magazines just because I really like the bright colors and the fun illustrations. I think they're very easy to use in your crafting. Sometimes you will find paper pieces within other vintage pieces. For instance, I have an old card catalog in my craft room and when I purchased that card catalog, it was filled with um, different paper from the business that it had come from. Another great thing to look for would be trading cards and different postcards of various types because there's a lot of old cards that used to be really popular, just different kinds of trading cards, not just sports cards, but ones that people used in all different ways. And then of course, old postcards are so fun because not only do you have the picture on the front, but the beautiful writing on the back. These can be a lot of fun. This particular set was all divided by travel. So I think it'd be cool if you were going on a trip or working on a mini album to pick up some vintage pieces that might help inspire you in that album. Old office supplies are also a really fun addition to any craft room. Different ledger pieces, different registers that they used to use. These are great for layering and stacking up and using in your craft room. If you have been watching my channel recently, then you know that I am newly obsessed with altered books and I think they are a super fun craft. So vintage books are always something that I am looking for when I am thrift shopping. There's all kinds of uses for vintage books. You can take them apart, reuse the covers in order to create a new book. You can create an altered book. You can use the pages for a variety of reasons. There's lots of fun ways to use them. Um, you can also just preserve them because I think they are just so beautiful and fun. Look for books that are of interest to you. So for me personally, I'm often looking for old hymnals or music books because I love to see the pages. I looked for children's stories because again, I really appreciate the illustrations that are included. I think there's a lot of good options out there for sure. When I'm looking for books, I do make sure to check the condition. I want it to have a strong spine and the cover to be in pretty good condition because if I'm repurposing it as an altered book, then I don't want it to fall apart. There are some gorgeous books though out there that are a little bit more worn you can use for decor and different things like that. I am a huge believer that if you're going to take the time to craft and to create, that you should also take the time to try to display some of your favorite projects. And yes, you can just put them up on the wall or on a bookshelf, but there are lots of fun ways to display your projects on vintage pieces, which I think makes them even more special. When you are thrifting or looking for vintage finds, you're going to see a lot of neat pieces that you can repurpose to display your projects. I particularly like to look for very skinny shelving units because I think those work really nicely and a lot of times have beautiful character to them. 
I also think these windows are awesome. Look at the ones with the hooks on them. You can display all kinds of neat things in these windows. You can take out the glass. There's lots of ways to alter them. I like looking for doors. I think those are really interesting and ladders, things that are made to go outside, but then you hang on the inside can be really cool too. And then of course, baskets on the wall that can then hold a project or nestle something inside. I think those would be a neat find. I'm actually considering picking up a window to change up my craft room a little bit and display some smaller projects that I have in mind. So I'm looking through, looking for ones that do not have any broken glass that I can paint and repurpose. There's cool wire pieces, all kinds of opportunities out here. So take your time and reimagine what you're seeing. I think that I will always have a special place in my heart for vintage luggage pieces and vintage toolboxes. So those are something that I am always, always, always looking for when I go thrift shopping. What I'm specifically looking for would be the condition of the inside of the suitcase and the color of the outside. So for instance, I loved this color on the outside. The inside was pretty stained and it was still kind of expensive for how stained it was. I actually really like the smaller version too, but yes, still expensive. Look at this gorgeous metal toolbox. It wouldn't open right away. I had to get a friend to help me open it with one hand here and it still has the trays inside that lift up. It is rusted on the outside, but that definitely adds to the character. These are fabulous for your craft room because you can store all kinds of things in these tackle boxes and these tool boxes, all kinds of tidbits, but they add a warmth and a character and interest. This suitcase was marked down to $15, so you better believe it came home with me just because I think it'll be fun to use either in a display at my house, maybe for holding blankets or something, or possibly taking to a craft retreat with me because the inside, as you're about to see, has lots of little pockets and storage and lots of ways to kind of store things that I think would be just interesting to be able to take craft supplies in. How fun and quirky could that be? One thing about these vintage boxes of any sort, whether it's suitcases or toolboxes or tackle boxes, is that you know that they are built to last. If they have survived this long, then they are definitely going to survive in your craft room. Um, there's all kinds of fun ways to use them. This is actually an old lunch box, which I thought was super cute. It has definitely been through the paces, but it's so cute and it has this little wire piece at the top that holds in your thermos, like your thermos on top, lunch box in the bottom. Lots of fun ways to use it. So keep in mind, keep a lookout for the toolboxes and the suitcases because they're just so versatile throughout your house and in your creative space. I also find myself looking for small pieces that I can repurpose in my craft room, whether I'm going to paint them or adhere them to the outside of a box or a craft or use them as a bookmark in a paper crafting piece or in my planner. There's all kinds of fun, small pieces that can add nice touches. I love vintage rulers. I think those are a lot of fun to work with. You can take them apart and paint them and add fun sayings. And what is it about this? particular placemat, I want to take it and I want to take it apart and put it, paint it and do it, put it together in a different way. And then look at these lunch trays. I am obsessed. These were too expensive for me. They had already been kind of marked up, so it was out of my price range, but they were absolutely beautiful. And then there's all kinds of little collections of pieces. So Take the time, dig through. You never know what you're going to find. I've seen people repurpose huge paintbrushes by adding, dipping them in color and letting it dry or repurposing keys in, in the same way or creating new art with old pieces is a fun kind of hobby that you can get into for sure. And my absolute favorite thing to look for when I am thrift shopping would be unique storage pieces for my craft room. So I love looking for old desks or old tables that I can restore or repurpose in a different way. Shelving. I love the pieces in my craft room. I have several different molding pieces that 
um, serve as a shelf. I have a card catalog. I have a letter press storage piece that I use for storing my stamps using these tin boxes. I have a ladder that I have repurposed as well that holds my vinyl. I have a whole video about that, about finding the ladder and using it to hold all of my rolled vinyl pieces, baskets, just things that you find interesting or that have a story to them consider using them in your craft room. Um, the ladders are cool. Look at these kind of wire baskets. You can certainly add hooks in there or shelves to um, add some extra storage and then hang it on the wall. Look at this gorgeous piece. So I am considering relocating my craft room down to the basement. This is a huge piece. I couldn't justify buying it now but if I'm if and when I'm ready to move my craft room I think it'd be great look at these little drawers how fun to keep your ephemera in with all of the stamping that's on them and the cute little knobs I think that those are adorable and would be great in any craft room so definitely keep your eye out Take a look around, see what you can use as storage that will add character, that will add interest, and that can add a lot of function to your craft room while also adding beauty. Thank you so much for joining me today as I shared some of my favorite thrifting tips. I would love to hear below what you like to look for when you are vintage shopping. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. A huge shout out to my scrappy YouTube members. You guys are awesome. Your support allows me to continue this channel and continue putting together videos like this. If you're interested in becoming a scrappy YouTube member, then click that join button or check out the link in the description box below. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.